Picture this, a dusty back road, the sun hanging low in the sky, and the roar of a powerful engine piercing the serene southern air. It was the late 70 seconds, and television screens across the nation were about to be hijacked by a riot of car chases, honky-tonk tunes, and a whole lot of down-home charm. The Dukes of Hazard, a television series born in 1979 didn't just roll onto the scene. It came screeching around the corner with tires squealing and the unmistakable General Lee leaping into the air. For those lucky enough to have lived through those golden days of TV, or perhaps stumbled upon a rerun, the Dukes were more than just characters on the screen. They were family. The daring Luke Duke, the clever Bo Duke, the irrepressible Daisy Duke, and, of course, the lovable Uncle Jesse. They all became fixtures in our living rooms, spreading the spirit of rebellion and camaraderie in the rural county of Hazard. Memories of that iconic orange Dodge Charger soaring over ramps, the blaring horn playing the tune of Dixie, and Boss Hogg's endless schemes to outsmart our heroes are etched in the annals of television history. Whether it was the wild car chases, the relentless pursuit of justice, or simply the pure, unadulterated southern hospitality, the Dukes of Hazard had a way of leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. But did you know that behind the scenes, there were tales of camaraderie that mirrored the Duke family's bond? Or that the General Lee, despite all its stunts, had a surprising number of clones? Join us as we rev up the engine of nostalgia and dive into some random facts about this iconic TV series that made us all holler yeehaw. So, buckle up and hold on to your 10-gallon hats, because we're about to take a ride down memory lane with the Dukes of Hazard, a show that jumped its way into our hearts and stayed there for good. There for good. There for good. The Dukes of Hazard, a beloved TV series that aired from 1979 to 1985, was a quintessential embodiment of Southern charm and rebellious spirit. The show, created by Jai Waldron, drew inspiration from his 1975 film Moonrunners, and brought the fictional Hazard County to life. At its core were the iconic Duke cousins, Bo and Luke, who, alongside their feisty cousin Daisy and wise Uncle Jesse, navigated a world filled with car chases, moonshine, and constant run-ins with the bumbling Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, and the corrupt county commissioner, Boss Hogg. What truly set the show apart was its signature car, the General Lee, an orange 1969 Dodge Charger, famous for its distinctive rebel flag roof and gravity-defying jumps. This unique blend of action, humor, and a catchy country soundtrack made the Dukes of Hazard an instant hit and a pop culture phenomenon. While it faced criticism for its portrayal of the Confederate flag, the series left an indelible mark on television, introducing audiences to the charms of rural America and becoming a symbol of nostalgia in simpler times. Its enduring legacy is a testament to the enduring appeal of the Duke family and their unforgettable adventures in Hazard County. In Hazard County. In the 1979 TV series The Dukes of Hazard, the iconic car known as the General Lee is a 1969 Dodge Charger. While some 1968 Chargers were also used in the show, they had their round tail lights and front grille replaced to match the 1969 model. These changes made the cars nearly identical in appearance, keeping the show's signature vehicle consistent. One interesting aspect of the series is J.D., Hobbs' nickname of Boss and his involvement in shady dealings and criminal activities. This character is a nod to what is known as the Southern Fried Mafia. Unlike major criminal organizations operating on a national or international level, the Southern Fried Mafia focused on controlling criminal activities like gambling, prostitution, and distilling and bootlegging moonshine on a smaller scale. They would corrupt officials in small towns and southern cities to further their illicit enterprises. This criminal group's function can be seen in other films like White Lightning and Walking Tall. Additionally, the Dukes of Hazard had a unique connection between its lead actors and directing. Five of the show's lead actors took on directing roles for a total of 25 episodes. Denver Pyle directed 12 episodes, Tom Wapat directed 5, Soriel Book directed 4, James Best directed 3, and John Schneider directed 1 episode, showcasing their multi-talented contributions to the series. So, whether it's the famous General Lee, the reference to the Southern Fried Mafia, or the actor's involvement behind the camera, The Dukes of Hazard remains a classic TV series that left a lasting mark on pop culture. Culture. Cul In the 1979 TV series The Dukes of Hazard, one notable detail is the license plate number of the iconic car, the General Lee. 
The General Lee's license plate number is CNH320. Additionally, Denver Pyle and Sorrel Book hold a unique distinction in the show. They are the only actors to appear in all 146 episodes of the series, which ran for seven seasons. This showcases their enduring presence and contributions to the show's success. Furthermore, the series had plans for potential spin-offs. Two episodes featured characters intended for spin-off series. One involved Texas Ranger Jude Emery, and the other focused on private investigators Mason Dixon and his girls. These episodes served as test pilots for possible new shows, although the spin-offs never materialized. These aspects highlight some interesting facets of the Dukes of Hazard, which remains a beloved classic in television history. Television history. Television in the 1979 TV series The Dukes of Hazard, a notable fact is that somewhere between 256 and 321 cars, famously known as the General Lee, were created and mostly destroyed during the show's run. Surprisingly, fewer than 20 of these iconic cars still exist today, albeit in various states of disrepair. Contrary to popular belief, all the General Lee cars used in the series were not 1970 Chargers. Instead, they were crafted to resemble 1969 Dodge Chargers. The production of the show itself is an interesting story. CBS initially ordered only nine episodes of The Dukes of Hazard as a temporary series to fill mid-season programming holes. However, CBS staff were impressed with what they saw during the show's production leading them to decide to make it a new weekly series. This decision catapulted the show to lasting popularity. Another noteworthy detail is that among the characters, Boss Hogg, Uncle Jesse, and Daisy were the only original or regular characters who were never replaced or written out during the entire run of the show. Their consistent presence contributed significantly to the show's enduring appeal. In conclusion, The Dukes of Hazard left an indelible mark on television history with its iconic cars, unexpected success, and enduring characters. It remains a beloved classic in American pop culture. Pop culture. Pop. In 1979, the TV series The Dukes of Hazard aimed to diversify its cast by bringing in Don Pedro Colley to play the recurring role of Sheriff Little. Producers deliberately sought African-American actors for key guest roles to promote equality. This move reflected a commitment to racial diversity in the series. In contrast, John Schneider, who portrayed Bo Duke, took a different approach to land his role. He confessed in interviews that he lied about his age, claiming to be 24 when he was actually 18. To further sell the character, he arrived at auditions in a southern accent, even though he hailed from New York City and carried a six-pack of beer. This bold tactic ultimately secured him the part. Sorrel Book, who played boss Jefferson Davis Hogg, had his own strategy to fit his character. He wore padding under his suit to appear chubbier, adding depth to his portrayal of the overweight Hogg. These behind-the-scenes choices and strategies shed light on the efforts and ingenuity that contributed to The Dukes of Hazard, a show that left its mark on television history. As we wrap up this journey through the dusty trails of Hazard County and the adventures of the Duke Cousins, it's time to reflect on your personal connection to the 1979 TV series, The Dukes of Hazard. This iconic show has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of viewers across generations, and perhaps it holds a special place in your own memories. Think back to the roar of the General Lee's engine, the twang of Waylon Jennings' voice on the soundtrack, and the fearless antics of Bo and Luke Duke as they outwitted Boss Hogg and his bumbling sidekicks. Did you have a favorite character whose charisma you couldn't resist? Or perhaps you found yourself enamored with the idyllic charm of Hazard County itself? Now is the time to share your thoughts and cherished memories. Was it the car chases, the comedic escapades, or the sense of family and community that resonated with you the most? Did the Dukes of Hazard spark your love for classic cars, or maybe it reminded you of simpler times? Your reflections are a testament to the enduring appeal of this beloved series, and by sharing your thoughts, you contribute to the ever-growing tapestry of its fanbase. So, take a moment to reminisce and let us know what the Dukes of Hazard means to you. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your stories. Until next time, keep those wheels spinning and those smiles shining, just like the Duke boys. This is the Dukes of Hazard signing off, and this outro was...